Hey guys, it's Crosshairs, and today I'm making a tutorial for this Minecraft 3D printer I made. Uh, what you do, first of all, you have to clear it. Then second, uh, you go from top to bottom. But what you do, you just take your items here, and I don't know, just make some weird pattern. Because why not? I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. But yeah, just make some whatever you want. Then I could go to the second layer here. And make something else here. That's not as nice. Well, not that any of this was nice. And then um, for airspace blocks, uh, you can choose whatever block. But um, I chose dead grain coral, but... Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be doing something more easy to access from the same page as the concrete. But you just fill all the airspace blocks in, otherwise it'll screw up the print. And then, uh, and then you just press the print button. Uh, let's finally actually start the tutorial. Now this tutorial will be split into two parts, mainly to make my workflow faster and get this video up faster. This build here is, so the first part of the build here, the actual machine itself, the brain of the mechanism, uh, where the chest and stuff are, is 16 blocks by 25 blocks. And it's 11 blocks below the floor. Now, uh, your wall, if you count from the actual border here, is one, two, three, four, five, six, on the sixth block. And all across here will be where your wall is. And behind and uh, behind here is like all the space. Now, please note, there's some redstone above the floor behind the wall, and the wall will extend four blocks above the floor. Just so you know. Now, over here, uh, these are where chests are. So they'll be against the wall. And inside, in the floor, uh, because the hoppers. And counting from the wall, they'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's on the ninth block from the left. And then uh, there will be 12 chests here. And then on the other side, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks of space. So, the blocks you will need are redstone, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, redstone comparators, redstone blocks, sticky pistons, normal pistons, redstone lamps, observers, droppers, chests, hoppers, command blocks, uh, some slabs for redstone, a lever, some buttons, uh, some blocks of your choice, and blocks to build your redstone on. Now, how you get command blocks is by going to chat, make sure cheats are on, and then type in slash give at p command underscore block. And then enter that in, and you should uh, get a command block. Now I have two because I already have one, but that is how you get command blocks. Uh, to start the tutorial, uh, go to where your wall is, and uh, count three in. So one, two, three, and on the fourth block, place your first block. And then um, place 17 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Should go to your last chest here. And now what we're going to do, you're going to take um, on either side here and just place some blocks here and uh, uh, make them all the way to the end of the, this, if that, makes, if that makes sense. So I'll just do this. Now, uh, just place repeaters facing uh, 
facing to the front of your mechanism here on each block. On, and on the faces of each of these blocks, place some torches. Now what you want to do, you want to uh, take uh, these three blocks here and uh, place them here. So basically you'll have a little T shape here, if you see it. And now I'm just pull these blocks all along here. To the very end. Now what you want to do, you just want to place redstone here, here, and here. Now the next step is just place some temporary blocks here along, you know, in front of these rest some torches and blocks here where the comparators will be. Place hoppers on these blocks here facing down. And uh, you can't hold down the build button on this. And then place hoppers into these blocks here. Now what you want to do, you want to break these temporary blocks. And don't break the redstone torches. The next step is to just place some chests here. So I recommend doing go to the ground, place it on the redstone torch, and then just crouch and keep going until you're at the very end. Now next, just take some sticky pistons and go all along here just under this block with the redstone dust. And then place uh, redstone blocks on all the faces of the sticky pistons. As you can see, there are gonna be a lot of redstone blocks in this build. And now last step, place comparators facing into the redstone on these blocks. And now you have an item sorter. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to take out an anvil here. I didn't prepare. And then take some random item, like, I don't know, flint or something. Just take a lot of it. Uh, and then rename it to something random, like maybe lock or whatever. For the, your filler items, because we're making item, si item, item sorter. Now you can just uh, get rid of this anvil here. Now, take as many, go over to the building tab, and get these concrete here. Just as much as you can fit in your inventory. Oh, and also uh, grab some gray stained glass. So this first one here, what we want to do, we want to place uh, four of these then place all our gray stained glass in here and it should sort out. As you can see, this piston should extend until it's all sorted out. Yep. Now over here, we want to place um, four of these and then just place all your white concrete in. Same with this one, the third one. Place your light gray concrete in. And basically, you just want to repeat this until you have all your concrete blocks in here. Well, all your concrete block colors in here. Okay, now that that's done, uh, what we want to do we just want to grab some command blocks here. 
take some temporary blocks and place the command blocks along here like this. And break the temporary blocks. So this one here, which is for the airspace blocks, if you want just a solid block that's not transparent um, for the airspace and you don't care, um, just leave it like this. But if you want a stained glass or just glass or something, uh, since a redstone signal can't be transmitted through it, which is how it detects if a block is there and pushes it in the, built, in the building printing area, uh, then do this. Place a block here and then care about direction uh, and then either place a block in in here or if you don't have space lower than that just place it to the side but in my case I'll just place it down here and then in the next video I will show how to do the commands and stuff and uh, the building platform now the next part of this tutorial here uh, what you want to do is just place a temporary block here and then just go on to the hoppers crouch and place droppers all the way to the end and on the end here just place a chest break this temporary block and place a hopper or two just going into here now what you want to do, you want to place a block in front of this hopper and then just go out here like this and place a comparator going into here. Now you want this comparator to go into this, so build this diamond shape thing here, place a redstone dust here, so it'll look like this, the comparator is going into there. And then what you want to do, just build out here on both sides. Build and build up like this on this side. So the compare spacing here to its right side. And just place a repeater. Now over here, you just want to do the same thing except it just keeps going. And place a repeater and redstone dust. Now what we're going to do, uh, first on this side here, which is at the back. Well, no, actually, so at the front here. What we're going to do, we're just going to make this little, z just do this here, all the way to the end. So you just want uh, blocks like this going down to this hopper. And go back here, and uh, just punch this little pattern here. It's kind of like a zigzag pattern. What you're going to want to do, uh, take repairs in, in, in these little spaces here, uh, place repeaters and set them to two ticks. So it should look, it should look like this when it's done. Now on the other side, you're just going to want to place blocks like this all the way over. And you know, to the second to last block. What you're going to want to do, place redstone dust here, and then place a repeater on two ticks. And then place redstone dust, repeater on two ticks. You want the repeater to be wherever um, the block sticking up over here is. And just repeat this pattern. And now, if we place an item in here, like a redstone torch, we shouldn't hear anything, and it should be over here in the end. That's how we know uh, this dropper system works. Now for this next part here, so where these hoppers are, so make sure there are five hoppers going up. So we already have two, so one, two, three, three, four, five. Five. Okay, there we go. And now, uh, over here, we're going to want to do, just take these hoppers 
and uh, build 12 in this direction facing here. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this should stop right on this block here. If that kind of helps, you can see. So for not counting this block, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hoppers. Now, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take this two blocks back. Actually, uh, back here. and place sticky pistons. Then just delete these blocks. Now just take some chests here and place them on the sticky pistons, but, uh, and not over. So basically like this. Place these chests on the stick, uh, with the left side on the sticky piston. Now next step, on this third hopper here, place, so go to this hopper just above this one, and crouch and place uh, this slab, and then uh, build these blocks all the way till the chest's end, like that. Now what you're going to want to do, you just want to take some observers um, facing in this direction. And uh, just build them all the way along here. Now, just build out here. And along here, place repairs on three ticks. In front of these repeaters, place blocks. And on top of those blocks, place the redstone torches. And now as you can see, these pistons should extend out and grab these hoppers. Now what you want to do, you just want to place some redstone dust along all of these blocks. As you can see, the pistons will spaz out a bit, but not that big of a deal. Now this next part here, what you're going to want to do, uh, place a block like this just in front of this redstone here. Place one down here. Place one back up here. Put a repeater here on one tick. And place some redstone dust here. Now what you're going to want to do, place a block in front of here. And another. Take a comparator uh, out of the, from uh, this hopper facing this way. Place your redstone repeater here on three ticks. Run it into this block and under this block, put a redstone dust. Build down one here, and then place another redstone dust. Now, run that into a sticky piston with an observer facing up. And over here, place a block. Then build out two. Place something here, and then place these two blocks behind the stick piston. Now the last part here, place a block on top of this piston, well, sticky piston, and place redstone dust. This redstone dust will later be used for activation of the mechanism. For this next part here, what you're going to want to do, on um, behind these chests, just place a block of your choice going along. This is where the wall is. And uh, the chest should be at floor level. Now what you're going to want to do, um, place, uh, your, place some blocks here. And some blocks going up. Take some comparators here 
and have them face into these blocks, uh, and they'll pick up when something's in the chest. Now just place redstone torches along these blocks. Place some blocks above the redstone torches. And place redstone torches on the side of these blocks. They should be off. Then place a redstone lamp in front of them. Now uh, put blocks ab above these redstone torches. And place redstone above these blocks. Now, just place a repeater over here at one tick. And then place a sticky piston up here. Let me pick that up. And put redstone block on its face. Now, just put some random block here. That's just a filler for now. I'll place a piston going, sticky piston going down. And place a redstone block on it. So, basically, when any of these chests are filled, It'll extend this out so that it can actually send power to this. And also, these lights indicate which chests are actually have stuff in them. So, yeah. Now, for the next part of the tutorial, so this is the front here. Just go around to this little thing here and place a redstone torch. Now, just take some blocks and put it here. Put redstone dust here. Now what you're going to want to do, just build eight blocks out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just make sure it's lined up. One, two. And now I'll place a block up here and a block out here. And what we're going to want to do, just place some repairs on four ticks here. And then right here, place redstone dust. And then build out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then up and build a block up here and build one out here. And just place redstone repairs in this direction on four ticks. Place redstone dust here, and then build 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Build a block up, and then place block here, build one up, and uh, place a command block here. Now I just want repairs facing in this direction on four ticks. And there's that section done. Now for this next part here, first of all, just a few quick fixes. Break this repeater and place redstone dust here. Take some redstone torches and um, on the left side of this build, go over here in between where the pistons and these blocks are, place redstone torches. All the way until, except for this last block. Make sure there are none on the sticky pistons and only on these blocks. So all the way until this last one, this last on this, on this last block here. Now, actually, this last part here, we're gonna want to do take some blocks here, place them uh, along here on these redstone torches, well, next to them, and then place some blocks over here. Now, just take some repairs on one tick and place them in here facing into these yellow blocks. Basically facing backwards. Now just take some sticky pistons and place them on the tops of these blocks. Place redstone blocks on their faces. Now uh, put a temporary block underneath there, place one here, break it, and place these blocks all along here. Oh, and also, uh, don't do this last block here, which is on basically uh, this side, the right. 
Now just place all repairs on one tick facing into here. And place blocks in front of them. Well, you know what I mean. Then just place a block out here. And do this along here. And place repairs facing in. So, on this block here, place another block. That's our repeater, puts a block up, redstone dust. Now, place block up on this next repeater with redstone dust. This next repeater, place two more blocks with repeaters on them. And then, uh, two more blocks and a block up, and put redstone dust on them. So this, so this here, just two repeaters, dust, well, dust, two repeaters, dust, one repeater, dust, 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 three repeaters. This is basically the pattern we'll be repeating. Okay, so just do dust, repeat, repeat, dust, repeat, dust, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. Remember that. So we'll just repeat that now. So dust, repeat, repeat, dust, repeat. And then dust, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. And we'll repeat that again. And one more time. Except uh, this time the last block just doesn't have doesn't except we just skip the last part here. Okay. Now you should have uh, you should have four of these uh, ones where it's dust repair repair. You should have. Four of the dust repeater ones. And you should have three of the dust, 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 repair, repair, repair ones. So it should look something. If, uh, let me just remove these redstone blocks quickly so you can see better. It should look something like this when it's done. I'm going to place those back. So. Uh, first of all, on this one here, place a sticky piston facing down and a redstone block. It should power this redstone dust. Next one here, place a sticky piston here, redstone block on its face. Then sticky piston here and redstone block on its face. They are all going to have redstone blocks on their face, just so you know. Now, place one here, redstone block. Place one here, redstone block should power this. And now that's basically your pattern and you're going to repeat that, but I will still walk you guys through that. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is just repeat that. So place a sticky piston down like this with redstone block on it. Place sticky piston here facing down, redstone block, sticky piston here, redstone block. Now I'll place sticky piston here, redstone block, sticky piston here, redstone block. And now these should be powered. Now uh, just repeat that again. Sticky piston here, redstone block, sticky piston here on the side is redstone block, redstone block, and then sticky piston here, redstone block. If I can place that, if I can, if I know how to place stuff. And then sticky piston, redstone block, sticky piston, redstone block. I'll go slower for this last one. Put sticky piston down here, redstone block. I'll go slower for this last one in case you didn't get it well. Sticky piston here, redstone block. On the side, sticky piston. On his face, redstone block. Then. And, 
And if you don't like this excess thing that has no point to it, uh, you can just delete this whole thing. There's no point to it. So yeah, that is uh, that mechanism done. And uh, let me just check quickly. I think that might be this whole thing here done. And guys, uh, and guys, that is your whole uh, brain part of the mechanism done. So as you can see here, uh, just to make sure this thing is all working, all of these here should be turned off. All these redstone torches. Now, if you place something in the first chest here, this redstone torch should be turned on. And if you place a uh, item here, the second redstone torch should be turned on also. Place an item in here, third redstone torch turned on, so on. So that's how you know it's working. And, um, if you want to just try the mechanism out, uh, just re uh, put in diff three different items in each chest. So I'll remember torch, a green block, dropper. Then, okay, so now we'll build the buttons. So first of all, over here, what we're going to do, so our button would be here. So we're going to place our button above the level of her chest. What we're going to do, I'll make sure there's no block above the piston. One, two, three. And on the fourth block, uh, that's the one you keep. Delete the others. Now, place a sticky piston facing down. Red some block on, it, on its face. And just place a stone button here, or a wood button. Really doesn't matter. Now, over here... Um, you're going to want to uh, build up a bit. So about here. Yep. Same level as this. Um, put down a sticky piston. And then uh, just keep this block above and place a lever that's powered. Now, over here. Now over here, I'll uh, just build out uh, two blocks here. Bring the block up one. We'll just uh, build down one, place a sticky piston here. Place a redstone dust. Place a stone or wooden button, doesn't matter. And redstone block. Now just take a random block here and then place two command blocks. Break that block. And now you got all your buttons here done. Now, what you're going to want to do, just remember uh, the order of your items. And now, press this button here. And once all the lights are off, uh, check in here to see if they came in order. So I set this to two ticks in the original to when I was showing how to build this part. Set this to one tick. Otherwise, it, it won't work and it'll get stuck somewhere in the middle of the items. So yeah. What we're going to want to do in the first chest, place an item. The second chest, place a different item. In the third chest, place a different item. Remember the order of these items. So, uh, torch redstone quartz. Press this button. You shouldn't hear any droppers clicking. Now if you look in here, they should come in that order. Redstone torch, redstone, block of quartz. Well, anyways guys, this is the end of part one of the tutorial. If you look on the end card on the top right, of the screen 
uh, there will be a link on the end card and in the description to the next part. Again, this is just to make my workflow faster and get the videos up faster. Next uh, video, uh, part two, I'll show how to build the building platform, printing platform, where uh, the blocks are actually placed. I'll show how to put the commands in, you know, what, what to type into the command blocks. And I'll show how to decorate this and some suggestions. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Part two will be linked down in the description and in the end card at the top right of the screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial.